Hi, I'm going to show you how to get your down behaviour on cue. We're going to use a clicker, so we're always clicking the dog in position. So that will be the dog lying on the floor. Now, luring is a method you can use, however, I prefer a hand target. It's not hard to teach a dog to follow food. And the problem with luring is that you need to fade it later on. So teach your dog to target your hand. Now your palm face in the ground will be the target. The dog should follow that if it's well versed at hand targeting. So once we put our palm down to the ground and the dog follows, we're going to click when their elbows hit the ground because that's basically where it is. Bum on the ground, elbows on the ground, that is a down. And we're going to click that. If the dog holds a position, you continue to click and reinforce on a rapid rate of reinforcement. That just solidifies exactly where you want them to be if it pays well. Then I can click and throw a piece of food away, which is going to create a little piece of movement. Now once they're good at that, just before you're sort of going to give the hand signal, you can use the word down or lie, whichever you prefer. And then you click and reinforce. And again, we can adopt that rapid rate of reinforcement. So then he comes back again, pop him in the set, ask for the down. And we're going to continue to do that and continue to maintain that rapid rate of reinforcement so that the dog really, really, really does get this down position is exactly where I'm wanted to be. Again, click, throw the food away. Now make sure you click before your hand goes in your bag or anything like that or in your pocket. That just makes the dog focus on the verbal rather than what your hands are doing. So now when he comes back, rather than asking for a sit, I'm just going to immediately ask for down and see what the dog can do. Now what you want to do is make sure you bounce your behaviours here, so you know you want them to understand that sit means sit, so we can say sit, click in that position, then down, click in that position, just so that the dog doesn't lose its sit as well. We want them to focus on what you're saying and then match a behaviour up to the word that you've just said. If you get a delay when you've asked for a down, and the dog still hasn't responded, you can revert back to that hand signal. That's not a problem. The dog, under these circumstances, during teaching, is never getting it wrong. They are a learner, and when they're a learner, they need a compassionate teacher. So you just do tons and tons of practice. If you've got a young dog, or you know he's a puppy and it's a larger breed, you maybe don't want to go over this too much in a winner because you can put a lot of strain on their joints, on their elbow joints and stuff. So you've always got to think about, you know, is it good for the dog? Can they do it? So here what I'm doing is popping them in a set, adding a little bit of distance, then asking for a down. And that just again cements that down means down, regardless of where I am. And when your dog gets good at that, you can take it outside so that the dog can start to generalise the behaviour in different environments. We'll visit that more. Thanks for watching. Happy training.